So here we are in the Peak District National Park. This is the world famous Stanage Edge. One of Britain's best climbing areas. This is pretty much my backyard. I live just over the other side of this hill. Come up here two or three times a week and do the circuit we're going to do this afternoon just to keep myself in shape. Climbing's a really diverse activity, you know, from bouldering through to big wall climbing. Places like Yosemite are just so impressive. You can't help but be overawed by the power of Mother Nature to create such an incredible place. I love it. You know, like El Cap, 1,000 meters high, 3,000 feet. Sometimes it takes weeks to climb them. You've just got to stay calm, stay focused. Fear is really a state of mind, and absolutely, I still get scared and still experience fear. You use it as a tool rather than something that cripples you. You know, when you're stood on the edge of a big cliff and you're about to jump off it, you're peaking, you know, you, everything in your body's getting really, the adrenaline's surging and it's really scary. We did this jump in Italy where it was basically dark, the sun had just sat, so it was super intense and we jumped off. And you go through the clouds, you know, so you just jump off and then everything goes white, you're in a cloud traveling at 120 miles an hour. It's how you process that fear rather than, you know, giving into it and being terrified and running away, you rationalize it. And that's really an amazing feeling, you know, when you're pushing the limits. That's what inspires me more than anything else, is, is to push the limits of what's possible, and not just pushing your own limits, pushing the limits, so that you're really redefining your activity. When I get back from a trip, I'll come up here and do this route. If you haven't done it for ages, it's a real challenge, physically and psychologically, you know. It's, it's pretty scary, it's pretty dangerous, and it just keeps you in shape. You're about 35 feet up. If you fell off, you'd be lucky to survive. <laughs> Wonderful things about climbing is that it takes you to all these amazingly beautiful places and gives you a perspective on the world that you just wouldn't get otherwise. Like the slack climb I did in New Zealand, you're 5,000 feet above Queenstown. It's so exposed and it's just this incredible focus. It's just such a perfectly simple test. You just have to walk across this line. You can either do it or you can't. There's no cheating. You set in this perfect challenge for yourself and when you finally get to the other end, it's this amazing sense of accomplishment. You know, it doesn't have to be elitist. It's not about operating at the top level. You can challenge yourself every day. Here at Stanage, there's hundreds of routes which, with very limited experience, you, you can enjoy. It's just a question of getting off your arse and getting out. The way I see it, you know, life's pretty short. When you're led on your deathbed, you want to look back and think, yeah, I've got some good memories.